Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design and print a simple device that will help you keep the mess out of your shop project. A lot of power tools come with a bag to collect the dust that's created from sawing or sanding. What I'm going to show you is a simple little adapter that you can design and print that lets you hook a shop back to the adapter instead and lets you suck up all that mess. It might not eliminate it all, but it's sure gonna cut down on the amount that you have to clean up afterwards. And that's my least favorite part of any job. Before I start the design, I need to measure the opening on both the tool and the vacuum. It's in millimeters. Then I head over to Tinkercad.com and begin to lay out my design. I'm gonna make the dimension six millimeters larger, which will allow me to have a three millimeter wall in every direction. Once I've made the two cylinders, I'm going to position them and group them to make them one solid object. And now I make the holes by setting the dimensions for the height. And the width. And now align them and group them to make the hole through the part. Lastly, I need to make the hole for the larger part, the tool in this case. I'm going to lay that out the same way and align it. Now you can see I didn't change the height of the hole and so it went right through my part. Instead what I need to do is change the height of the hole so that there's again a 3 millimeter wall, so it's only 17 millimeters high. And now it allows to have a 3 millimeter wall. And the part's finished. Save it as an STL file. Open it in Simplify 3D. Check my print settings. Just recently installed this on my Mac, so confirming that everything looks good. I'm printing with the left extruder of my dual extruder machine. Checking the temperatures. Support is turned off. And let's see what it looks like in the render. Looks good, let's print it for real. I'm using black PLA here. And now that it's done, you can see here's the finished part. I chose to print with the wide side down, which means that all of the hangings from not using support are going to be on the inside of the part. If I flipped it the other way around and printed the small side first, what would happen is that all of the hangings would be on the outside and it wouldn't look as good. Now I'm just going to clean out the edges with a craft knife. That will make it a little bit smoother and a little better fit. I chose to go size on size and then clean it out with the craft knife so that the fit would be really snug and it wouldn't slide off the tool and the vacuum. But you could make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to. You could make it half a millimeter larger and it would fit on there a little easier. It's a simple design and print. But it'll take all the worst part out of your next shop project. If you like the videos we're making, please subscribe to my channel Ring the bell to be notified of future videos. Share with as many people as you like. And until next time, in your DIY projects, don't be afraid to be bolder.